Leslie is a cute hacker? Do you even know my full name? And oh my gosh, thank you for calling me cute. I know, but it's also nice to hear. <laughs> Leslie Hackington? Why? Shot in the dark if that was true? You're still a fucking idiot, but at least you're a correct idiot. My name is Leslie Elizabeth Arcadadu. What? What? Her name is Arcadadu? What is Super Fero Night? is your. Hey, it's about time we found out why Sophie is your lipsy little thing with that look on her face. Paladin. Welcome back to the legend of Arcade 2. Electric Boogaloo. The last episode, Sophie was not happy with change and didn't like the girl that was talking to me, and so now we continue that bullshit. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Looping music. You just don't get it, do you? Oh my god, we just started the episode. You should already bust some balls, man! Bust some balls! Sophie, please! Stop busting my bowels. This isn't a game to me. This is... My life! Ugh, fucking forget it. You're an idiot. And you just see, ooh, shiny, and you're like, hey, I want the shiny, and I'm like, but we have shiny at home, and you're like, no, new shiny. Because you're an idiot. What? Sophie! Look on the bright side! <laughs> oh my god, now she's legitimately screaming at me with... What the fuck is that side of her face where it's like... Meh. <laughs> I hate it! Why would you do that with her face? <coughs> like, it should have been teeth all the way across, it's okay, but now her mouth is distorted and weirdly shapen. And what the hell is that red part in there? I mean, I guess it's shadowed, and then that's the bright part. What is this picture? She screameth at me. Oh my god. Sophie. Stop. Are you about to trauma dump on me? What has happened to you in the past to make you like this? There is no bright side. She's destroying everything. I wanted to come to the Forsaken Castle with you and defeat regular enemies. Skeletons, warlocks, I, I don't know. Something cool. But no! Now this place is ruined, Brian. And we can't even fight enemies because they're bugged. Sophie, you sound like you're whining. Grow up. <laughs> and you! You don't even care at all! No, this sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. I'm being unnecessarily mean for comedy, for comedic reasons, but yeah. You don't care about Arcady, do? You don't care about me? Okay, fuck you! Now we've gone from, okay, I don't want to be a dick to you, and I'm just playing up for comedy, to specifically, you're overreacting, and fuck you. Sophie just went from best to worst girl. Where the fuck is the other Che? Okay, that one was for comedic effect. No, I wouldn't abandon her that quickly for new Che. But, fuck you, man. I do care about Arcady Do, and I do care about you. This is bullshit, you're overreacting because your precious perfection is being threatened and you're whining about it. She's not gonna listen to you, dude. This is exactly how characters like this are written. 
they're gonna dump a bunch of bullshit on you and then not listen to you. That's not true. I care about both. I just figured a little change couldn't be all that bad. Maybe we'd end up liking it, man. You're just gonna make this worse. She's just gonna ignore you and whine and walk away. She's just gonna walk away. So you're saying I need to change? You don't like the way- Fuck this character! Fuck this character! Fuck this overreacting, putting the blame on me, not taking any for herself, just whining ass bullshit character. I hate this. Cause it's so paced at a certain level so I can predict it and seen this literally a million times, but it's not well written. It's like, characters like this are like, Oh, everything's gonna change. You don't like me. It's just gonna, I need to change. It's like, bitch, listen here. I never once said that it was about you. And now you're making it about you. And now you're turning me into the bad guy. Sophie, fuck you. Sophie, fuck you. Nah, worse girl. That's not what I said. You're not listening. You're huffing. You're puffing. You're whining. You're crying. You should just go away now. It's not what I said. Go away. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! It beat for beat is something I've seen a million times. But if you like this girl and her new shit so much, to go play with you. Yeah, I'm whining and everything's about being sad for me. I'm the victim here. You know, like this is about your insecurities, not mine. So, Sophie. Fuck you, Sophie. Like, this is so bullshit. Typical, like second act of a movie to create unnecessary drama and separation between the characters so in the third act they can get together and get over this shit but this is all her fault this is all her like he's not doing anything wrong I mean yeah having her unleash an army of techno monsters and shit is not exactly the best thing fucking up a bunch of stuff is not exactly the best thing but this is not helping and it's just so dumb it's so dumb! Like, bad, bad writing, bad. Bad makes Sophie bad. Why would you do this to this character that you introduced as, like, such a amazing character at the beginning of this second game and then just throw her into the worst fucking trope, man? That's bad. That's bad. If you love this new game, don't make you go and play alone. I'm going to send this right. If we have done, I'll look for someone new. Oh my god, bitch. I'm going to go do this. See, there's separation there. I knew she would walk away. And she's like, I'm going to go get a new person to think exactly like me. Sophie, no, please don't go. I don't hate you right now and really am happy that you're gonna fucking leave. And, uh, you suck. You suck. I hate you. You suck. Sophie, wait, but don't. Go away. For fuck's sake! Goodbye, hero. Have fun, new adventure, solo, alone adventure. You're such a bitch. She's gone, and I am a better person for it. I've never seen her run so fast. It must have been a hay spell. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm not reading that. No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. You should never apologize. In fact, when you see her, you should tell her to go to hell. You'll be like, bitch, I'm about to get many bitches in all the towns, and all the arcade doing goodness. I might not even come to this game. I might abandon your ass. You die in a fire. What, am I being too harsh? Fuck her. <laughs> I don't care, she's not here. The town. 
Looks so empty now. Maybe it's because Leslie is deleting medieval NPCs. I'm not reading about that, her. I don't care. All the great adventures start at the town. No! Don't look for her. Let her work it out and be a whiny bitch. I don't care if she's avoiding you. No. We're looking for Leslie. We're... We're looking for Leslie. Nah, bitch. You just got fucking overturned. That was the dumbest shit. I knew it. She's like, I hate her. And you like her. And now I hate you. Goodbye forever be alone. This is all your fault. I'm like... None of that is my fault for liking something new. Or wanting to see where something goes. Or even if I was in the wrong for just that one part, you completely flipped out and acted incredibly childish. I'm not going to apologize to you. You bring that ass and you apologize for being such a weak-willed little fuck. We're looking for Leslie. Yes! Yes, game, thank you. Well, Sophie was being a dumb bitch. No, just ignore her and abandon her. I'm kidding. Like, this is real legit anger and thoughts mixed with comedic shit at the same time. You shouldn't just abandon someone because they flip out and act irrationally. That's not how people should act. It's like, dude... You said and did a thing. That doesn't mean I hate you. That doesn't mean that I want to abandon you. And hell, maybe you realize that you may have stepped a little too far there. And we can get past this and move on. But I want to go for Leslie because she new bitch and I like new bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. People are not going to understand how much I'm kidding and not kidding. They just aren't. <laughs> They're not. Some people are going to take all this literally. <laughs> I'm half serious, not fully. Oh, water. Maybe I should just wait until she's more calm. It'll be hard to talk to her right now. Yes. That's pretty exact. She's not really going to listen to someone if she's in pure anger mode. It might just make it worse. And going to see Leslie will figure out what the hell is going on with her. What the hell is going on with this whole situation. Maybe I could talk it out with her. But how much do you want to bet that Sophie somehow finds us together? I'm just saying that's kind of how they're writing this story and how they're writing her right now. To the point where it's like, I'm gonna go speak to Leslie about this shit. Not to pursue her romantically, but to pursue her to ask why and what and who and why. And then Sophie's gonna show up and be like, I fucking knew it. I'm betting that. Maybe I should set this right either way. I don't want bugs in Arcady, do. <laughs> That's how I talk. This Leslie chick should be somewhere nearby. I should find her. At least I can make some progress instead of just standing around fucking wishing Sophie would calm the shit. Maybe I can have a civil talk with her and convince her to stop. See, he's thinking logically. He's like, okay, so Sophie big mad right now. Let me go to Leslie and see if I can make progress in that, know what the hell's happening, or maybe even stop her from doing this. Making her realize what other people think and how it's affecting them. Yeah, that. Maybe I should convince her to stop after having a civil conversation. That would solve everything. That's not a good way to think. The, you're not a cure-all, dude. You're not going to walk up to her and be like, stop doing this. She'd be like, oh my god, I will stop doing this. <laughs> it's not going to solve everything, bro. 
It may help some shit, but it's not gonna... Uh, yeah, that's not how this works. All right, she's probably at the most predictable and cliche place in a fantasy game. The tavern. Oh, the woods. Never mind, I was completely wrong. The woods, that's it. She must be there. Okay. Wow, the map stayed up for more than half a fucking second. Leslie! Oh, Leslie! Rats! Okay. She isn't here. Why? Okay. Now this beautiful forest is gonna disappear. Probably become a robot factory or an alien pub. What the fuck are you thinking about, bro? What? <laughs> I mean, the second one sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not combining them, dumbass. But <laughs> that actually sounds kind of awesome. Nail a robot factory pub? I'd better write this down. Maybe I'll be able to pitch or some ideas to Leslie. Hello. What are you... What are you doing here? Why do you have that stupid look on your face? This is how my face always is. Thank you for insulting it. I have not insulted you in any way, so how about you don't? Man, her saving lies thighs. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. I, uh... Where's your little girlfriend? Thought you two did everything together. She flipped out and walked away. And I knew it was going to happen every step of the way. I'm looking for her. She's chasing you. Well, she's not here. So she's not doing an amazing job at it. She's probably just sulking somewhere. But I believe that in, mid in this conversation, she's just going to show up and see us together. Because this just needs to be a million times worse. Needs to be another confusing bullshit fucking drama dump so we can come together and properly explain shit later because that's good writing to have people just misinterpret shit and not take a second to fucking fully think things through or listen to another person. Just go, ha, I knew it, and fucking leave. That's good writing. Why do you guys want to stop me? Don't you realize what I'm doing? It, it's just... I guess she can't allow a random hacker to change the game she loves. Uh, random hacker. Oh my god, the puppy dog eyes. What the hell? Why this? Why? But, do you have any clue who I am. You're Leslie? That cute! Why would you call her cute, man? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Are you gonna make her blush? Are you gonna do the thing? A... I don't think calling her cute was the best decision here. Leslie, the cute hacker? Do you even know my full name? And oh my gosh, thank you for calling me cute. I know, but it's also nice to hear. <laughs> Leslie Hackington? Why? Shot in the dark if that was true? You're still a fucking idiot, but at least you're a correct idiot. My name is Leslie Elizabeth Arcadadu. What? What? Her name is Arcadadu? Is this game named after her? Did she make the game? Wait, you, you're the creator of Arcade Do? Nah, that's my father. Okay, so 
the daughter is just hacking her way into her dad's game. Nice. Do you have daddy issues? I'm just gonna say, you can call me daddy. Yeah, I hate myself for that. I'll be your dad. I can't say it. Uh, let's make a point, and this is unnecessary information for you guys, so I'm gonna say it anyway. When I was younger, I really wasn't into women calling me daddy and like erotic situations and stuff like that. But I am, as I got older, I am now. As I've gotten older, it's become okay. And I have had ladies say that to me, and it is hot. <laughs> there, your fun fact about me, I like being called daddy <laughs> in um, sexual situation. Okay, we're going to move on. Or, at the very Jesus is just like cuckooing me. Like, hey, daddy. And I'm like, oh. It's like a power trippy thing, okay? Shut up. Lawrence Edward Arcadio. It's my father. He made the game. He wants me to inherit all this. Kedido is supposed to be his gift of mankind. How? What? Why? What? It's so boring. That's why I'm making improvements. Hands on hips. Hams on... Hams? Hands on stomach? Side? So you're hacking your own father's work. Pretty much, yeah. I'll turn our Kedido into an awesome game! You just wait and say. But this is already an awesome game! You just have to give it a chance. See, this is the shit that Sophie should have heard and he should have said instead of her flipping out and leaving. This is the shit that would have made her understand that he understands where she's coming from. He's like, yes, cool things I enjoy. Maybe a little change would be cool. But then he says this, and it's like... That! <laughs> Dude, I'm the daughter of the creator. Believe me, I've played lots of this game. Every single day. Come, I've never heard of you. Play tested the alpha versions. I got the early builds. That's why I know the exploits. My father locked me up in my room and wouldn't let me out till I played at least for four hours. That's child abuse. Your daddy did a child abuse. That's not cool. Once again, I'll be your daddy. You will receive spankings. But you will enjoy them. God damn it. God damn it, I'm sorry. I'm just look at her. I can't see the back, but I can see the thighs, and I just wanna whoosh. I'm so wrong for everything I'm doing. Oh, I love it. You're still here, right? Okay, you're into it too. Sweet, let's continue with that mindset. <laughs> Just me and this stupid game alone. You do have daddy issues. You resent him for caring more about the game than you. Oh. Oh. Wait, that's it. You have daddy issues. That's why you don't get arcade do. This isn't meant to be played alone. It's designed for online play and teamwork. Do you want to be in my party? I could show you how it's done. Just like Sophie did for me. Oh, come on. You look super happy about the fact that I did that, so I'm assuming that's going to be a no. And once again, like I assume, even if she goes to say yes, Sophie's gonna show up. Like, I'm not stupid about this. This is just how this line of storytelling will go. She's gonna see this. 
Especially if this chick says yes and we show up to her together. I don't think she's going to take that well. No one asked me to ever join their party. Um. Alright, I'll do it. Show me then. Show me what I've been missing. That's a... Uh, that's the spirit. Fine. The first thing we need to do is find something to fight. Weak enemies should be more than enough. Aha! Your timing is perfect. It's just a boring slime. Hold on, I'll turn it into a cybernetic chimera. That'd be way more fun. No, I just explained that you don't need to... No, wait! Let me show you how to battle a regular slime! Battle mode on. Oh my god. Still trying to make that work. Level level slime. Good old battle system. Leslie may not be able to join in the battle, but she can see how fun this is from the outside. That's stupid that parties can't party. That completely, like, breaks the party system. You're an idiot. This is stupid. <laughs> this should be quick. I'll just take aim with my bows and, uh... It dodged! What the hell? It dodged! What was the slime counterattacks? It's super effective. Am I still really low level from the beginning of the game? No, you're making me look like a fool! Level of slime runs away. So it smacked me incredibly hard and then ran. Wait, am I still like... Did we do nothing? I'm supposed to be the hero! Wait! You got nothing. You got zero points with Leslie, bro. Come on! I know that's not a thing. You got zero right to complain. Okay, that that was pretty good. <laughs> Take that. What? Well, um... That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh my god, she's blushing. Nice. That was so funny. It was? I guess I've never seen something like that. How this battle system allows you to fail so miserably. Okay, that's mean. <laughs> it's accurate, but mean. Ow, my pride. And the fact that it was just a pathetic slime and not an awesome cyborg made it even better. Hey, I'm right here. You, Words hurt. Words hurt. You're so funny, too. Th thank you. I appreciate that. I'll take it. I enjoy it. Why do you think I have the YouTube channel? I think I may be funny sometimes, kind of. Ow! All my hips and everything just popped as I raised myself in my seat on my bed to adjust where I'm at. That was fun. I feel old. I just turned 38. <laughs> I wonder that girl is always with you. I wouldn't let you go either. Huh. Now, I pose the question. Is there a harem ending in this one? I would go for the harem ending in this one as well. <laughs> if that came out of nowhere, I'd do it. Uh, I like what you said, but also... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm a pretty funny dude. Oh my god. Don't break your hand patting yourself on the back so hard. Oh my god. Why does she look stoned? And also, goddamn. Okay. This is fine. 
This is not gonna end well. This game, uh, it can be pretty fun, I guess. This is one encounter. One encounter of me making myself look like a complete, like a complete fucking idiot in front of this woman. And she's just like, this game is fucking awesome. <laughs> You've played untold hours of this. And it took one, like, two minute fight. to be Okay, you are easily swayed. I'm glad this is the outcome because it's the one I wanted. But, um... Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, she is... That is flirty, like... Not only the let you go thing, but the if you're with the right person, this game can be pretty fun. If you're with the right person. <laughs> See? I told you, Arcady Doo is for everyone. We talk about May of the game because I am not for everyone. I am not a whore. Yeah, and I'm glad I found you. Ooh. Damn. We are heavy on the flirting. I mean, we're just being nice to each other in general, but she is. Is she flirting? She's being super nice to me. I know there's a fucking difference. I know you could also compliment a person without it having anything to do with it. Shut up, I know. You'd be the one thing I'd keep in talk about this place. <laughs> well, I am the legendary hero. I wield two bows. She's not talking about that. Haha, <laughs> so absurd. I'd give you two guns if you wanted. Nah, I'm good. My weapons are pretty effective. Yeah, as uh, evidenced by the last encounter that I did. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, with that fucking slime, you look stupid. <laughs> Come on, that was just one time. It's the only one time I've ever seen you fight, and you look like an idiot. <laughs> All right, all right. I won't give you guns. But there is something I'd like to give you. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Huh? What is it? So, I knew that was going to happen, and that happened very fucking quickly, and oh god, no. She just Sophie hooed me. <laughs> and he fell for that shit. Oh god, like, I kind of want this to be the CG and the next episode to be the other one. So, how long have we been recording? <laughs> because I might have to call it here. I would like this CG of them kissing to be the next episode. Plus, I also kind of have to poop. <laughs> so, I think we're going to end this one right here. If it's a shorter episode, I do apologize. But I want these CGs to mark these episodes. And the kissy face between the two of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> I might have to... I might have to that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching more Arcade Do. We met Arcade Do itself in this one. And suddenly this turned into us doing a thing. Or in the next episode, we will do a thing. I like her a lot. <laughs> I like her. She's so fun and upbeat and says, dude. I'm okay with that. I don't know if Sophie ever said dude. I got a shit, so I'm gonna go, and I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Off to poop! <laughs>